Hey friends, Beck here from Power Creative Media. Today I am going to show you three things that your team can do to improve their content system, to improve your content system. So our team here at Power Creative is pretty prolific. We create a ton of content every week, every day actually, we create a lot of content. Um, and I think that's just the nature of my business. Um, that's how I roll, I'm very prolific. Not everybody needs to have one as prolific as us. Obviously, you could just manually post once a week and that would be fine if that's the thing that gets you leads. But what I always talk about is having a system um, at whatever speed works for you. And by that I mean two things. One, that you can actually do. And two, that actually works, that gets you leads um, sales, followers, influence, etc. So again, you want to make sure that it actually works for you. It gets you the things that you need. Otherwise there's no point. Um, and you want to make sure that it's something that you can continue with. So it's sustainable. Um, and how I like to do it because most people don't love posting their own content. Um, how I like to do it is to create a system that someone else can use for you to post the content that you make. Um, you're probably going to have to make a lot of your content, but it's a lot easier just to make it and then not think about it than it is to make it, figure out where it needs to go, add the hashtags every time, post it in the right spots, follow up with um, the people who comment on it, etc. There's a lot really here. So the three things today that I'm going to talk about are really helpful for you to um, create that system. So it's a little bit broad. Um, if you're interested in learning more about this system or rather a system that works for you, I'm not about the cookie cutter life. I will um, help you create a system that works for you specifically, a custom system for you um, using the tools and um, and frameworks that I that I have. Uh, but but still you, you do need something that is specifically for you and your team. So the first thing is to um, to create whatever the repeatable tasks are going to be. So for example, um, you know, uh, uh, how often are you going to create a video? That's the, that's really the key thing at the beginning is how often are you going to create a piece of content that your team can use for the, you know, the regular daily or weekly or whatever posts, like how often are you going to do that? Um, would you like to make a video once every Monday? Do you hate video and you'd rather do a podcast? great, that's perfect, like no worries. Um, do you hate all of it and you just want to do a main blog post? That's fine and you, you could even have somebody else write that post for you if you did them a voice message or something like that. So really trying to think outside of the box of, oh, I've got to show up every day and, and do this content. Um, you know, how often are you going to show up and give your team something that they can then use to produce content? Uh, and the key really is that you, you do need to have um, some type of team or a VA or outsource to a company or a, an agency like mine where we take your content and turn it into all the pieces. The lowest, I would say, um, the, the thing that you have to do the least work for, if you just were like, I don't want to do any of it, it outsource it to an agency just like Power Creative um, because you spend less than four minutes a month on your content. Um, but if you want, if you want to have a VA or a team doing all this stuff and creating your content, then, you know, you can do that as well. Um, so you want to make anything into repeatable tasks. So that's, you know, what are you doing every week or every month in order to produce the main piece of content? That's important. Um, number two, what do you want to have happen to that content? You know, what platforms do you want to post on? Uh, I'll give you an example. So our team, um, I, I create a video every morning. Don't worry, you don't have to do that. Um, I create a video every single morning. This is one of them. And um, I submit it in a form to my team who takes it and, and we have automations and things that, that tell them exactly what to do, tag the right people, um, put the link where they can get it. And then our team creates, um, you know, some folders inside of Google Drive where the writer will um, you know, put blog posts and uh, transcriptions and emails and written posts and things like that inside of those Google folders. And then um, we have a graphics person that creates, you know, like a YouTube thumbnail and a blog header based on the topic of that video slash blog post. Um, and then we have somebody else who goes in and um, 
uh, actually the, the, that designer actually, um, she also puts like the little written posts onto graphics as well so that those can be, those can be scheduled. And then we have somebody that goes in and takes all of those different things and schedules them across different places. So the videos all get posted on YouTube and LinkedIn and Facebook, um, and sometimes Instagram as well. And the, um, you know, the graphics are used in for the blog post to be posted on Medium and WordPress and as a LinkedIn article. Um, and then there's, listen, there's a ton of other things that we do as well. But that's a good example of what the, the types of things that you can do um, in your business to create a system that actually really works. Now, I will um, say here, I suppose this is as good a place to say it as any, that you don't start out like that. For the last seven years, I've been working online and I have not been doing a video every day. I mean, I would have liked to be, but I never could do it. It was like a disaster. I was sporadic. I didn't really do anything. Um, and the easiest thing to do is to start off doing one thing that's manageable for you. And then what you can, what happens is you start to trust yourself that you're showing up and you're doing that one thing every day, great, or every week or however, whatever you want. And then you add another thing in and then you add another thing in and then you add another thing in. But that takes a lot of time. And, and I'm not saying that you have to start out doing what I'm doing, which is insane, I know. Um, but you do, you know, if you're going to create a content habit here and a, and a system, you really do need something repeatable. And that's the, um, that's the first step is to make everything into repeatable tasks weekly or daily um, or monthly or whatever you want, fortnightly, etc. Um, the second thing is to write down every step that is necessary for each of these things. So, you know, you recording a video, um, you know, how are you going to know what your topics are? Uh, keep, where do you keep them? If you need, I can do all mine in advance. Um, where are you keeping things? Uh, every, like, what do you want to have happen with your video? Do you want, do you need somebody to edit it first or not? Just FYI, no one edits my videos first. They just go up. I don't even have an intro right now because I'm focusing on making sure that everything gets done every day. And once that's rolling, I'm going to say, okay, great. I need a video editor that can come in and, um, you know, batch edit my videos so that they have like my name and logo and maybe an intro or things like that. But I'm not up to that yet. Um, and I'm just working daily on making sure that my stuff goes out. And that's fine. You know, I don't need to be perfect right off the bat. We're starting somewhere. Everybody starts somewhere. So where do you want your videos to go? Who, you know, what is the process you want them to go through? What platforms are you posting on? Um, all that type of stuff. These are standard operating procedures. You want to write those um, SOPs for every step of what the process is for your system. If you need help with SOPs, that is what I do. You know, we've got it's part of our system um, is SOP templates and things like that. So please check out our website, powercreativemedia.com, um, and you'll see more information about our social content system how, and how it works and get access to all the resources. Um, number three is to uh, monitor those steps. Monitor all the things that everyone's doing and uh, make sure that you revisit them and fix the things that aren't working. Sometimes things won't work. Some, I mean, LinkedIn recently changed or our, our posting system recently changed the, the links that post on LinkedIn. So it really screwed us up because we were, we had a workaround for a thing and it was a whole drama. Um, so you have to revisit these things and make sure that they still work and make sure that if there's a better way to do something that you fix it, but really monitoring the system and improving it where you can and just taking out the bits that don't work, you know, keeping an eye on the system is really important. There's always going to be change. There's always going to be, um, adapt things you have to adapt to. So, so um, keep an eye on the, on the system is what I'm saying. <laughs> That's the important thing. So number one, make everything into repeatable tasks whenever it is, weekly, monthly, fortnightly, etc. Number two, write down every step for your SOPs and keep them somewhere safe that you can change and access them regularly. And number three is revisit those steps um, and change or adapt them to improve your system. I really wish you all the best with creating a, a social content system. If you try to do it on your own, that's fine. If you get help from somewhere else, that's cool. And if you want to work with us or learn more about how we do this, 
Um, it doesn't have to be daily, like I said, you could do it weekly or monthly or fortnightly, etc. cetera. Uh, we have got systems and frameworks and tools to help you to create your own social content system so that you don't have to stress about what is going out every day. You just have a system that works even when you're on holiday. And if that sounds good, check us out at powercreativemedia.com or leave a comment under this video. All right, I will see you next time.